Hey everybody, it's Bruce. Welcome back to the channel. This is something new that I've never done before. I'm actually going to be disassembling this computer and just taking you guys with me through the process of disassembling it and packing away some of the components. Actually, what's going on is I am should be anyway moving in about four days from Switzerland to Florida in the US where I'm from and I can't bring this big computer. It's just too, it's really heavy and I don't have enough space. So what I would like to do is keep the motherboard, the RAM, the hard drive of course, and any other parts, maybe the graphics card that I can, put them in this little little container and bring it like that and then I'll just get rid of the case. Which is unfortunate because I really do like the case, but I just don't have um, enough weight. I don't. I have too much weight already and it, this take, takes up too much space. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, take it apart and I'm going to have this GoPro on my head so you guys can hopefully see what I see. So for me, the history of this computer is uh, I probably got it about four or five, around four or five years ago. Uh, a good friend of mine gave it to me. He uh, got himself a new PC and just didn't need this one any longer. And mine was even older than this. So yeah, it was a good deal for me. Um, the PC itself, I'm not exactly sure how old it is, but I'm guessing it's around 11, possibly 12 years old. It's a Dell Optiplex 980. It's pretty nice. I mean, you can just slide this uh, this back. I've had this off a couple times before, and this just uh, falls open like that. Hope you're getting a good view of it. Sorry for all the dust. It's definitely pretty dirty. I, I'm not really a hardware geek, so I don't sit there and uh, make sure I have the nicest looking uh, PC. For me, it just does a job, really. But boy, that's a that's a lot of terrible dust. So, yeah, let's take a look at what we have. I don't actually even know what the motherboard is, but I do know the processor. It's a uh, Intel i7 first generation. I think it's a i7 780 or 760 or something like that. So it's like one of the first generation uh, 32 nanometer uh, CPUs. It's a, it's a quad core. And uh, it actually works pretty good for me. I've been using this PC to edit videos that's uh, you know in terms of the heavy lifting that's really what this uh this rig has been for but it also does everything else for me as well but um let's just get taking this apart and think about what we need so i'm not going to take the power supply because that's a little bit specific to this case maybe uh really i think i'm just going to take the hard drive which is right here uh you know like i said i'm not much of a hardware guy i, I don't know if that's like a pci or I thought that was a PCI, but so I'm not really even really sure what slot that is. But anyway, that is the hard drive. It's a 500 gigabyte, I think. Obviously SSD. So I'm not going to bring the CD-ROM either. That's the graphics card. I don't even remember what it is. It's kind of a low-end uh, NVIDIA card. So it, it always did fine for me. Like I said, I don't do anything really too intensive. The most thing is edit all my videos. I've Probably, yeah, since the last like five, you know, however long I've had it, four, three, four, five years that I've had this PC, it's been my video editor. I guess I'm gonna have to bring all of this as well. Kind of didn't want to, but I guess I'm gonna have to because it looks like it's kind of integrated for that CPU cooler. And I don't know enough about hardware to know if I can, like, you know, take that out and use a different fan or what. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first, let's take that hard drive out. And by the way, it was in here when I when I got the PC, so I don't really, there it goes. Not to say I don't really know how that works. That's pretty nice. Yep. Yep, okay, that looks like it's coming out nice and easily. Okay, very good. So what do we have here? Dusty old, oh, 240 gigabyte, my mistake. Kingston product. It's actually worked really great. I don't know about the performance specifications or anything like that, but it's always worked well for me. And by the way, the reason I'm I'm putting it in this dish is because this is like a, a cake dish or something like that. And my wife wants to bring it to the US with us. So I said, um, okay, yeah, I can probably use that also to store some of my parts that I need to keep protected. Next, let's go ahead and get the graphics card out. 
and that has the regular VGA plus HDMI plus the, what is that called, like, digital video one. Actually, that's the one I was using. Let's see how easy that comes out. Oh, it's coming right out. I'm really not much of a computer hardware guy at all. Uh, when I was like a teenager, way, 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 way back in the day, I used to do some hardware stuff. Um, it feels like it's, maybe it has a, a lock or something. Let me see if I can feel back there for that. Yep. Yeah, when I was a, a teenager, I used to tinker around with hardware more. Way back when I had a 486 and a Pentium 133, and I mean, those were already old at that time, but but um, they were not that old. <laughs> hmm. Ah, I see. There's like a, I think there's something to press up, maybe. I hate laying this down in the cement, but that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, there, I think it's moving. There we go. Yeah, that was very slightly tricky, but I had, basically it was hanging on that. You have to, you have to uh, press that a little bit. I, I didn't even see the finger part. I actually just pressed right on it, but whatever. We got it out, I think, undamaged. Yep, looks good. What is it, by the way, in case you're, in case you're curious? Uh, so, Asus, I see. Asus, I don't really know much about this at all, to be honest. Now, should I take the RAM out? I kind of feel like I should, and maybe it'll be an opportunity to upgrade it. By the way, we're sitting here with uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM. I think originally this PC had just four. I guess it's maximum probably is 16 that it can take. But I got a good deal on a couple sticks, so I, I boosted it up to 12, which has really made a huge difference. I, th I think when I got it, it did have eight, but um, yeah, I went to 12 and that helped a lot, especially with the video editing. And by the way, I, I've only ever used Linux on this. Now I've had a lot of just dis different distributions of Linux, but um, my friend was running Windows, but when I got it, I immediately uh, installed Linux on there. Um, now, what it has on it is Mint, Linux Mint. I, I don't remember which version, whatever the latest version is. I, I've, I've gone around to all the different Ubuntu and sometimes even Debian and stuff, but I, I almost always come back to Mint. It just seems like it's a reliable distribution that has a good balance of speed and ease of use, you know, and modern features. I went to some of the really lightweight ones because I thought, oh, I just want something just to do a simple job and that's it and get out of the way. But they always seem to have a little, little, not exactly glitches, but just things that are slightly difficult about them. So I go back to Mint a lot. It's a great balance. So these, these blue ones here are just four gigabytes each. So I have eight, nine, 10. Oh, okay. That right. Eight. So four, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe I'll check this motherboard, but maybe I can replace these with fours as well and bring myself up to 16 when I reassemble it back in, back in Florida. Okay, so we got the RAM out. We got the cards out. Okay, so what's next? I'm not sure what to do next. Hmm. I can see that the this big cooler fan assembly is attached to the case, so perhaps I should try to release that. I can see down here, there is some, looks pretty like maybe I can, looks like maybe it'll slide right out if I just push these over. Oh, I just pushed them pretty hard and actually bent them. So, I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not. They, looks like they're out of the way now. Okay. Uh, now I think I just need to start unbolting the motherboard itself from the uh, from the case. Good. I do have a Phillips head here, so let's start that process. Yeah, and for video editing, I use Caden Live. I've pretty much only ever used it. I mean, maybe when I was really young, I used Windows Movie Maker or something like that. But basically, 99% of my video editing that I've ever done was with Caden Live. I like it, I like it a lot. I really appreciate the team who builds it and I've even got to talk to a couple of them here and there. 
Uh, even as recent as uh, in Fostim this year in 2020. I went to the Fostim before this huge uh, virus outbreak. And got to talk to one of the developers there. Anyway, I really like Caden Live. It's not perfect for sure. And because I don't have much experience with the other products, I, I don't really know what I am or am not missing. But I feel like it can do everything I want. And I don't know if it's the most efficient way all the time or not. But I'm not a professional uh, video maker either. I just have another a channel uh, called Hack and Ride Bikes, by the way. It, I think we have around 4,200 subscribers, so over a million views. So, um, you know, it's a pretty nice channel, I, I guess. <laughs> but I, I think, and by the way, I guess maybe I've done 100 videos on there or something. I, I don't know, maybe I'm way off. <laughs> I, th I think I've done like 100 videos on that channel. So, I mean, I've used KDN Live quite a bit. Um, like I was saying, I don't know if it's the best best video editor or not. Wouldn't say that. It's probably not. But it is totally free, which I like, and it does the job. And I don't see any reason to stop using it in the future. Maybe I'm kind of dumb, but I'm not seeing a whole lot more. Here's one. A whole lot more screws. Gosh, I don't even remember the last time that I've taken a motherboard out. I mean, it's really been a long time. And I ought to keep these, um, these called SATA cables, I think. I ought to keep these, even though like this one's not plugged into anything. Because, I don't know why, because they're just useful. Uh, yeah, here's one, here's another one. Okay, let's keep that one. Let's take that. Um, keep that where it is, hopefully. Keep that I don't even know why that's unplugged oh it's probably power for additional things here's a you know I'll tell you the truth this uh, this front SD card reader never worked I don't know if it's a driver issue or what so I guess I I don't know I guess I, I could keep it it's pretty small let me <laughs> look at this hack I did that I think I did that anyway um, let me try to Get that out of there. Maybe one day I can get it working. It doesn't take that much space. Go ahead and unplug that. If I ever remember <laughs> where it plugged into. Ah, great. I can see there's some coins in there too. That would be from my daughter. She's only two. So, yeah, they do that type of stuff sometimes, annoyingly. There's a tin wrapping coin, Swiss money. And I can't... whatever. Yeah, that's worth keeping, I think. Alright, um, now what else is holding this case, in, or this, uh, this board down, I wonder? I wonder if these are, actually. Or I wonder if there's anything I have to do on the other side. There's a chance somebody may want to take this computer case when I go put it down by the street, which would be nice if it got recycled again. So I'm going to try to keep it in decent condition as I disassemble it here. Am I doing that right? I'm not really sure. It, feels like, it looks like that's right. Yeah, I was doing that exactly wrong. Yep. Okay, I just get that out of the way. Uh, this one here is for USB, more USBs, so just pull that out. I don't think I'll keep that one because it's kind of specific to this case. Just push that out of the way. What is this? Another ribbon cable. Oh, probably for the power button, perhaps. Well, having a power button might be a nice feature. <laughs> no, let's get rid of that. I guess another case should have a similar plug, so let's take that off. Oh, come on. I'm not really wanting to come off, is it? There we go. Sorry about that little chip. Uh, what is this? Another power. Oh, it's the, I think that's the main, main power, so we can remove that. Mm. 
and by the way if you are an expert or just know more than me at uh, this hardware stuff do feel free in the comments to tell me all the things I'm doing wrong please be nice but I would be happy to know because I'll have to put this back together soon so yeah any kind of tips would be great I, I don't claim to know that much about building computers like I said when I was really young I did build a handful of them just from scrap parts but uh, that was a long 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 time ago we're talking late 90s or mid 90s even yeah it's a long time ago it's a whole other thing I guess while I'm working on this I can tell you that story though if you're interested so Wow, I don't know, it's a big story. Let's not get into that now, I'll make that on another video. Uh, but suffice to say, suffice to say, suffice, whatever you say. Um, I, I used to build a handful of my own computers from uh, just kind of scrap parts that I could get. get and um, yeah, that's that was kind of a little bit of a hobby of mine when I was a kid. But I didn't really know what I was doing that well either. I wonder if this panel comes off somehow. I'm sure it does. I wonder if I need to take it off, I guess is what I meant to say. That looks like a rivet. And if that's a rivet, then that's not gonna come off super easy, that too. Or may maybe it's not, maybe it's like a button. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what I'm doing or what to do next. I feel kind of stuck at the moment, but I know I'll get through it. I could I could go ahead and like maybe pull these two. But I can also see there's two down here, which they do give you access to. But I don't really want to take this whole cooler off. That's not my intention. But I, I think I I think I might need to do this. Let's go ahead and try. Oh, okay. It feels like there's a spring under these. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Give you access to these screws. I think maybe that. There's it's some kind of mechanism to hold the... Oh man, come on. It's a tiny bit too short. Might be a mechanism to hold the uh, screws in place so they don't fall out. Ah, dang it. I don't have another Phillips head, so... What if I tried to use this flat one? Did that work? Nope, it's too big. What about this one? That is too short. Alright, so... What do I do? I guess I'm gonna have to go look for another Phillips. We'll be right back. Okay, I think I found a solution and I'm very lucky because most of the tools I've packed away, but I did find this little guy. This probably came from my dad. It looks really old. I thought it was Craftsman at first, but it actually says Master Mechanic. I think it's a very, very old, very small uh, Phillips head screwdriver and it looks like it, the whole thing will fit right in there. And I think I should be able to get that loose. Yep, there it goes. Sounds good. Okay, the whole thing's feeling loose. Let's try the next one. Wow, so lucky I had this, because if I didn't have this, I'd have to get into my luggage and who knows where where the where the other screwdrivers are. That would be a pain. Okay, good. All right, looks like we are going to be, dang it, <laughs> it's kind of not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Taking off the entire CPU core. And there's one connector still. That means I'm going to have to buy some new paste, thermal paste also. And I'm a little bit intimidated about that. I mean, not buying it, but actually applying it because I haven't done that in so long. <laughs> I just kind of felt like it's working good, I should leave it alone, but okay. Looks like I will be getting into that. <laughs> Come on, I can't get this little connector off. The good thing is, is this entire thing was given to me, so if it were to be damaged and if I ruined it, it's not that big of a loss and it's extremely old, so it's, whoa, it's probably not worth very much anyway. But I do like it and it's worked good, so if I'm going to take the, the, the time and the trouble here of removing it, uh, it'd be nice if I could... Come on, why isn't this coming out? <coughs> dust, dust, dust. 
oh, oh, I think the reason why is because I was doing it wrong again. There we go. There is the CPU cooler in all its glory. It's so big, I don't know if like every uh, case that I get will even be able to house this thing. I mean, it is kind of just, it's kind of just blowing out the front, I guess, or no, probably not. What is it doing? I don't, I guess it's pulling air in from the front. There should be if there wasn't so much dust. Running it across these uh, cooling fins and uh, keeping them cool, allowing the heat to come from the CPU and, you know, dissipate. So I, I guess I'll, I guess I gotta keep that. I guess I gotta keep that because um, it, I guess it's made for this. So I, I don't know. I don't know anything. Maybe there's an aftermarket one that's like smaller, but I'll try to bring this with me. It's unfortunately, it's pretty bulky though. Okay, I could feel the, the entire motherboard felt very loose, so I'm gonna try to try to pull this off. I guess I did have to do that because I can see some bosses here that you know that were fit fit there, so I ha I did have to take it off, it looks like. Okay, it's coming out. I feel like we're delivering a baby here or something. Come on, you can do it. Oi, okay, okay. Ta-da. Whoops, one more thing I forgot. What is that? Maybe it's a, some kind of temperature sensor? I have no idea, but I guess I should. If anybody knows what that is, uh, let me know. I guess I should bring it. It doesn't, T-H-R-M, maybe thermal, maybe temperature sensor. I honestly don't know. I guess I'll keep it. Wow, this thing is super dusty, but there it is. Let's see, what does it say? <sighs> oh my God. Dell, all rights reserved, copyright 2009. So this is about a 20 year old, or it's 20, about a 10 year old motherboard, I guess. Maybe uh, 11 years, 2009, 2020. I guess the name of the board is, or I could probably learn more about it anyway with this number here, here, uh, E93, E93839, E93839. Okay, well, it doesn't weigh that much, so hopefully I can... Foxconn, isn't that the place they manufacture this stuff? But. Anyway, hopefully I can get this home in one piece. I think it's all gonna fit in this, this tray nicely. I'm gonna try to find some padding to keep it protected a bit. Whoa, it's getting cold outside. Uh, oh, except for this, this will have to go somewhere else. But I think I'm done. I uh, guess I'll keep these screws. Ah, thank goodness for the screwdriver. All right, let's go ahead and put this panel back on and put this thing down by the side of the road and maybe somebody else will play with it. Let's see how we can pack this stuff up. I shouldn't need those anymore. My wife said I could use these uh, hand towels. So the wires, I don't know, some of this stuff is like really durable, like this stuff here, you know, it's not going to really break. Um, so I'm not too worried about that stuff. This stuff here is a little bit more fragile, especially these and especially the motherboard. So, um, I don't know. Okay, just dusting that a little bit. I don't have a uh, air thing with me here. I don't have any compressed air. And I know, I know your breath contains a lot of water, so I don't really want to go crazy blowing on them either, blowing on the pieces. But just a little bit should be okay, I think. All right. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is first like put a layer down here like that 
or I don't know, maybe I can just do it like that and then put the motherboard on here and then wrap it over it. Let's see what happens there if I do that. Okay, set this right like that. That seems pretty good. Maybe I can more like that. There. That looks pretty good. And cover that. I like it. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Uh, then maybe I can lay these like so. I kind of feel like maybe I'll put this separate somewhere. I don't know. Then uh, take another one. Kind of do the same thing again. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. In fact, should be just enough room for this stuff. Okay, I think that's pretty good actually. Uh, and then just to make it like so it doesn't jiggle around much, I'll put yet another one on top. And maybe even two. Just to make it like really kind of tight, you know, with the lid. Not tight, but you know, so it doesn't... Yeah, it's nice. Alright, let's try one. Just throw this last one in here for good measure. Maybe that's too much. Yeah, that might be too much. At least, at least like that. Let's try it like this. That's... that might be the ticket. Does this go under? Does this work? Oh, I see. Okay, got it. There we go. Hey, that's pretty good. My own computer parts cake. And this, I don't know what I'll do with that. I'll, I'll wrap it somewhere in something else. I think that's fairly durable, so. All right, well, that's about it for this video. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe and that'll encourage me to do more of the similar type of videos. Anyway, talk to y'all later, bye.